Hello everyone, welcome to Winter Survival. This is one of my most anticipated games for quite a while. We played the original demo a few years ago, then last year the prologue for the game came out and it changed a lot. Then last month the demo got an update and we got to play one of the side modes and that was pretty damn brutal. However, according to the developers, the main story campaign should be a lot easier. Yeah, okay, so join the Discord, F7 is a reporting tool. Versus yourself in an unforgiving experience of winter survival. Good luck. So we got story mode, endless. Seems like Cold Wave is not yet implemented either, which is quite interesting. Uh, endless was the one that got added during the demo update, so uh, quite scary with that one. But let's start story mode. Seems like we only have the introduction as well as Act 1 for the start of the early access. They did release a roadmap. I think they're going to release up to Act 4, if I remember correctly, this year. Let me really quickly check that. So no, they're only going to update up to Act 3 this year. But they are going to have some world updates. As well as some miscellaneous things like fishing, stuff like that, new animals. Yeah, let's head in to the introduction. I imagine this will be similar to the prologue, unless they change a lot again, because it's been like a year. Well, this intro surely is new. Yeah, this is new, all right. Hello. Them phones mean. Yo, it's me, Joel. I'm going on a trip with Mike. Care to join us? Uh, yeah, sure, man. Great, I'll pick you up tomorrow. Danny, come and feel it. Honey, I'm waiting. Use. Damn, that's uh, <laughs> it's a. Uh... Did you feel Best it? wording. Uh, yeah, sure. Wonderful, isn't it? Danny? Do you have to go? To go? Danny, Danny, Danny! What the hell? Help. Get up and help us! Wow. Grab that stick! Hurry! You. Ooh, hit by the wolves. This is. It's gonna be okay. Just breathe. Are you hurt? No. Good. Remember the cave. Go there and hide. I'm gonna look for Mike. No way. I'll never get there alone. You will. Just keep the radio on. I'll tell you what to do. So even this is a little different. So this dialogue was in the prologue. The original part wasn't that we just saw. That made me think a lot of green hell, I will admit. Fuck. Oh. Wait. I put the ass. I'll give you a signal. Yeah, this kind of was already in the prologue, but as I said, it seems a little different, which is cool. Let's see, where do I have to go? I have to go over there. Damn wolves are in the way. Yeah, that initial intro sequence that we got, it reminded me a lot of Green Hell, because there's a lot of parts in the story there that kind of take uh, a turn like that. That wasn't in the original prologue. However, they did mention... A lot of that, though. So I guess it's more to visualize than anything. But I wonder if they change that. The path. Distract them. See that crow over there? Try to scare it away. All right, crow, get out of here. Okay. Fuck. Okay, I got. thought he saw me for a second. My hands are freezing. You warm yourself up in the cave. So this first part is going to be a lot of talking. There's nothing I can use to distract them. Joel? Never mind. They went away. So I'll probably not be talking a lot during this intro sequence. Don't 
Oh damn, good thing Joel can see us from wherever the heck he is. As well as this bear. Oh shit, I can't. You have to. Also, he shouted that. We're in like a wolf infested area. Oh, just run, 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 run. Fuck the wolves, man. Pretty sure that would be a lot faster than I am, but hey. And see. Joel? I can't hear you. Joel? Okay. First drink something, then think. There we go. Right. It's empty. Oh, nice. Some water. Sorry. I think I'm still in stealth mode. I, I need to catch my breath. What about Mike? Can't see anything in this weather. We need to wait till morning. Uh, okay. So, then what? We need to rest. And eat. Right. Fire. I can make a fire. You taught me how. Great. Make it somewhere nearby. And check my backpack. The rest should be just lying around. Find that quite convenient. So we probably need some tinder. Oh, probably also, you know what? We just need everything probably that he had. That's enough. Let's see how this is work again. Alright, craft campfire. That is a... Uh, compared to many other survival games, I will admit, this is quite the expensive campfire. Uh, that feels good. Nice, you can even see the sausage on the side. I'm starving. Not long now. We're gonna have a nice chips. Hide. No sausage for us, man. Stay there. Right. The bear's eating the sausage. I'm not sure if I would realistically do that, I will admit. Do you see these footprints? What the hell did he eat to grow this big? Other bears. People? Bears don't eat people. Right? Well, this one does, I suppose. Well, at least we got some meat scraps. Pick them up. Disgusting. Now that we have anything better. Yeah. Go to sleep. I'll keep watch, then we'll switch. Oh, thanks. Tomorrow we'll scout the area. Try to find help or at least shelter. What about Mike? Don't worry. We'll find him too. Just a short trip. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> Give me a break. I'll, I'll be back soon, okay? Come on, guys, wake up. Oh, shit, we're late. There's the bus. Danny, run! Wake up! Run! Welp, that wasn't the bus. Unless the horn of the bus makes a really weird noise. Well... Here we go. Ouchie. What? Where am I? I can't feel my fingers. Joel, I have to call him. Shit, I lost my gear. Hot springs. I need to get there. Yes, yeah, so our gear is all the way up there. Hot springs are this way. Pretty convenient door. Need to find another way. 
seems to be stuck, but there is some other stuff, like beans. So compared to the demo, this is what I remember, basically. This area. This was in both the original demo, as well as in the prologue. What? Yep, he is dead. Don't think about it. Just go. And we need to run because there were a bunch of wolves around here. And I think we could outrun them. Oh, nice and warm. But then suddenly. That feels much better. This feels so good. And it still says it's zero degrees. But that's like cold as hell still. Oh shit. We broke our leg. I need to take care of this. The cabin here. I should check inside. Yeah, oh man, we need to go to the cabin. <gasps> Ooh, spooky ghost deer. Not much to say about that. What the fuck is wrong with me? And let's head inside. A carpenter station, a wooden chest. Right. So they had a lot more, like, crafting stuff nowadays. What exactly do we have to inspect? Oh, I guess for this, right? Yeah. Then we have to use the leg stabilizer. Still, this cold is killing me. So you found a log right next to the campfire, so we can use that. Light it up. Joel. I hope you found Mike. I can't look for them right now. I'm too tired. Too tired, man. I'm going to sleep. This fucking trip. Okay, I guess we're stuck and we have to sleep this amount of time. We immediately go into the sanity system. Damn. Each debuff in current during the day, increasing your trauma. If trauma reaches, or if trauma hits 100%. Insanity triggers. Insanity wakes one hemisphere of the brain at a time. Left. Responsible for adaptation disorder. The right requires a selection of a new symptom. And this is what we can choose. So we already have this one. We just saw the ghost deer. And now we have to choose one. We have perception fatigue. And these will stay with us for like the rest of the game too. Let's see. Let's do fake deers because I think... This will be annoying for later, I think, if I don't know the area yet. Because it basically, like, blocks off areas until you get close. So yeah, let's choose this one where the prey can be fake. Alright, sweet. Wait, did we just get full hunger? Alright, he is well fed somehow. We're getting quite thirsty, though. I'm quite a thirsty boy. We Slip and slide and down. There you are. Yeah, well, we can't really easily get to that. However, we can just walk up here, right next to the little slippy slide. And unless this damn prey breaks as well, which it doesn't, sweet. Bear tracks and footprints next to it. Yeah. It doesn't look good. I have to check it out. Pretty ain't good, all right. There's some blood here as well. It just keeps getting worse. I hope the guys are okay. Right, so what I did back in the, I think the prologue as well as the demo, I used to drink this water. That still actually works. I'm surprised. No, never mind, it kills you. <laughs> so yeah, that is something that new demo brought as well, this hot spring water. I never thought it was safe to begin with, but hey, I was able to drink from it back in the demo and the prologue. Is it possible someone's still in there? Damn it. Well, we got a new quest, I have to look around here. We can go further back. Well, I didn't want to jump back in yet. I was actually kind of afraid of doing that. I guess it worked out in the end. Because I got stuck in it during one of the demos. Let's see, we got a high silver in note, a battery. I don't know what these toys are good for yet. I never figured that out. So I won't be grabbing those. And we need to find a way to open the door. There's also this wooden chest that just won't open for some reason. I forgot how to open this damn door. Like... No, there was a way. It might be the key. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That gave us a little bit of uh, supplies. 
Oh shit. Damn wolves are around here. Okay, we gotta run. <laughs> Ouch. Come on, dude. Grab the damn backpack. Got it. That's sweet, we got it. What is that sound? Yeah, what is that sound, man? My walkie-talkie. A walkie out, oh, fuck. My leg. Did I die? That happened uh, damn fast. I didn't actually pay much attention to my health. Thought we had a bit more than that. Although, to be fair, I think after drinking the water, we already were pretty low. 